think that, and if you look at AISI, you know, again, back to sort of those points, uh, they'll estimate that this legislation includes about that 850 to 900 billion that is still containing investment. It's going to result in the, the steel intensities that I just talked about. Um, and then I would also say, too, from, from a new core perspective, uh, when, we're, when we're thinking about the anticipated steel requirements for, for this bill, um, I, I always sort of relate that back to new core, right? Well, how are we positioned related to that? How are we positioned to, to be able to service our customers? And, um, you know, new core continues to be well positioned, right? You think roads, you think bridges, railroads, energy, you know, you name it, that's included in this bill. Well, 50% of Nucor's products, approximately 50% of Nucor's products, go into the construction market. Um, we're also supplying uh, steel to build clean air, energy infrastructure. So think wind, think solar. Um, so, you know, those are the anticipated steel requirements going back to that 40 and 45 million sort of tonnage uh, item that I talked about, 20, 25 million tons in indirect steel. And then sort of how we see new cores uh, role and play in it. 